Hey what's going on guys, Connor Cook here and welcome back to Connor Plays Pokemon Fire Red and uh, yeah today um, I'm currently at the Celadon Pokemon Center uh, if you don't remember from the uh, last two episodes I uploaded uh, I beat Erica, got my fourth badge and I stormed the uh, Team Rocket hideout and battled Giovanni and won so yeah, I stopped his um, his schemes, uh, whatever his schemes were, I honestly have no clue. Um, maybe catch Pokemon and selling them on at the game corner, I, I don't know, really. So, yeah, um, now that uh, I've done that, it's opened quite a few... Uh, quite a few routes for me now so basically between now and the fifth gym which is going to be in Fuchsia City um, yeah there's quite a few things I could uh, go up the uh, Pokemon Tower get the Poke Flute um, I could go to Sylphco Battle Team Rocket again uh, I could even like challenge Sabrina early if I wanted to but I'm not because obviously Koga's first and also she's blooming gonna she's gonna be blooming OP I'm not gonna lie and there's even a route to south of Lavender Town which has like a bajillion trainers which I'm probably gonna be going down at some point so these next few episodes are probably gonna be jam packed uh, and quite excited for it so, I believe the first thing I'm going to do today is, uh, is I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Tower to get the Poke Flute. And the reason being is because the Poke Flute is a really, really useful item. It means I can just sell all my awakenings and whatnot and not have to buy any more again. Because the Poke Flute is basically a basically an awakening but a permanent one so actually I don't think I battled any wild Pokemon here so it'll be nice just to see like what there is and that so ooh hello hidden items I see um ooh Growlithe that'd, pr that'd make a really good fire type actually um okay um, I'll battle this with Eevee, of course. Oh. Wait, have I... Have I been through this area before, then? Yeah, I guess I have, because I've already picked up these hidden items. Okay. Ooh, meow. Hopefully it knows payday, so I can get more money off it. Um, yeah, I'll battle it. Um, in fact, I'll catch it, you know, just to add it to the Pokédex and that. Because I'm going to be coming across more of those Professor Oak scientists, so... So it'll be nice to catch as many Pokémon as I can, just so I can get said items off them. So... So there we go, that's Meowth. And I'm not going to, not going to nickname it, of course. Uh, it's in box one on Bill's PC. Lovely. Um, so what have we got here? Another Growlithe. Hopefully this one doesn't use Roar on me again. Um, that would kind of suck, really. I would really like to catch this. Oh. Gosh dang it. I believe in Pokemon Leaf Green you get a Vulpix instead of a Growlithe. So, yeah. Um, I suppose I'll battle this Pidgey as well, just for the XP. Really? Um, okay, didn't really give me that much, so not really worth my time battling Pidgeys, to be honest. Um, Ekans level 17. Uh, Ooh, you've got run away. Nice. Good to know. Um, the reckons. I think the next growl if I see I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball outright at it. 
because if it's going to keep using roar on me, then I'll never catch it. Don't really know what the odds are of, uh, of growl of spawning though. Is it like is it like a ten percent chance or something? I don't really know. Another meowth. Might as well uh, battle that as well just to see if it uses payday or not. No. Uses bite. Fair enough. Maybe it doesn't learn payday at this level. <coughs> I'm actually thinking about doing like another recording session to be honest because because uh, I'm at that point in the game now where uh, where I'm really getting into it so uh, so that means I'm I'm may play it more frequently and for longer so with that said there uh, may so with that said there may be some weeks where there's going to be like more than one video on this uh, being uploaded. Okay, another Growlithe. Right, I'm just gonna throw a Great Ball at it straight up. Right, Great Ball. Go. No, you, get, you just break out straight away. Oh, it just uses Ember. Oh, but I'm burned. That's, that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's, let's try again. I mean, it's only a level 17. So, there's no reason why, you know, yeah, I was going to say, there's no reason why 11 Great Balls wouldn't be enough to catch it. I mean, it's not like it's it evolves into a pseudo-legendary or anything. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, alright. I'm actually kind of tempted to use Growlithe instead of, uh, instead of Eevee, to be fair. Um, I mean, Eevee's good and all. Uh, it evolves in some uh, some cool Pokemon, but to be honest, I think there are overall better Pokemon in the game than what it turns into. So I I, I don't know. Um, I'll probably uh, think about it over time. Restored your feet Pokemon to full health, thank you. I don't know, I think Arcanine is is a really cool Pokemon, so you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna add Growlithe to my team because uh, yeah, like I said, I think overall Arcanine is just a better Pokemon. It's it's a beast, really, so and all it needs is a Firestone, in fact, if I, and which they sell at the uh, Celadon department store, so I can always just go there and get one. And they're only like 2,100 apiece, so, you know, it's it's not too bad. Right. It's a bit low level, but uh, it's okay, we can get there. Speaking of under le un like underleveled, there is a there is a Pokemon that I'll be getting uh, a bit later on at Silphco, which uh, I'll be getting at like level 15, um, which is one reason why I want to go there at some point because I want to get that as soon as possible. Um, because to be honest, as good as what Gyarados says. Uh, I've done a bit of digging and uh, I found out that uh, that like four of the main types that uh, Gyarados normally uses um, are all special moves and if you have a look at Gyarados' special attack stat, it's only half as good as what its physical attack is. So basically moves like Bite and uh, any dragon moves that it might learn later, it's Gonna, it's going to make it a bit redundant, really, because uh, it's not really uh, that great of a Pokemon in this generation, which I'm a bit disappointed about. 
because I really do like Gyarados. So, I'm thinking about uh, getting that Pokemon later uh, to replace Gyarados. Um, but, of course, it won't be yet because obviously I'm here. So, oops. Right. I was wondering when I was going to encounter a Pokemon here. Right. Uh, I'm going to catch the uh, the Ghastly. I'm not going to use Bite on it because I don't want to one-shot it. Yeah. I mean, Ember being a neutral attacking move, uh, doing half its health or over half. Yeah, I have no doubt that Bite would have, like, one-shotted it. So... There you go. Um, cool stuff. It's a shame I can't uh, evolve it into Gengar. I don't think, unless I'd like a, a linked feature on uh, my emulator. I think I'm just gonna like bite every single ghastly that I come across. I think this might be a good training spot for Growler. So... Oh, it reduced my PP by 2. Well, that's, uh... That's gutting. Right. Uh, right the stairs are there. I believe it's the next floor up uh, that's where the, uh, the ghost is, so... And... I had to leave here earlier because uh, because I didn't have an item. But now that I've got the item, I can um, I can now use it to uh, battle the ghost, go get past it, and then like you know progress through. Okay, it's a high level. Level 17, that's pretty, pretty high for Growlithe. Well, you've just, you've just, like, sacrificed half of your health, how do you feel? And I'm about to finish you off. It's a bit of a waste, really. Talk about free XP there. Right, uh, so there's the stairs, and... That, and the ghost is going to be like right there as well, so. Okay. Well, you can only do 17 damage with that move, so I'm not particularly worried. There we go. Finished. Wasted. Right. Be gone, intruders. Right. Silphscope unveiled the ghost identity. It's a Marowak, who would have thought? Right. So, seems I have to battle it, so... Oh, it's level 30, jeez. Uh, I better get uh, Venusaur out in that case. Because uh, Growlithe will get mauled by it. The ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, it departed into the afterlife. Oh, that's kind of sad, really. Right. Has anyone actually watched Pokemon Origins? And they actually um, they actually went a bit more in depth with uh, that whole story and whatnot. And it was actually kind of it was actually kind of sad. Um. Of course, I won't spoil it for those who haven't watched it. I mean, it's been about ten years now, but. You know, there might still be some people that don't really keep up with it, so... What do you want? Why are you here? Um, 
I don't know, why are you here? That's what I want to know. Right, level 25 Zubat, you're going to get outmatched here, my friend. Um, I'll send Pidgeotto out because uh, Pidgeotto is only a few levels off evolving, so I think I'll uh, mainly use him for a little bit. Wonderful, level 18. Level 33. Nice. Very good. Uh, Zubat. Would have been better if I uh, came across this Growlithe earlier. Wait, did I come across one earlier? I'm not sure. I, ne I really need to watch like my previous parts back just to, just so I can remember what exactly I've done. You know. Uh, I'm gonna use bite. Okay. Just wing attack you and one shot, yeah, how about that? Oh jeez, he's got a goal bat, wow. He's not playing around. It's actually gonna make it somewhat challenging. Actually, has there been a single female Team Rocket Grunt here yet? I don't think I've come across a female Team Rocket Grunt yet. I think they're mainly just uh, male ones here. I'm not going to forget this. And he just leaves. The old guy marched right up to our hideout. Then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking it over as adults. Well. I don't really know what to say to that, to be honest. I was going to come up with uh, some witty, but. Then I just like. My brain just like blurred out. Whoa! Ooh, level like 2 HP, wow. Nearly leveled with Pidgeotto there. Right, so this is a bit of a concern here. The fact that they've now got the self destruct, so that just means I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful with me, uh, my team selection here. So. I'll use Dub Trio for this one instead. Wait, I just realised he sent out Drowsy. I thought he sent out another coughing. Oh my god. You spoon. Oh well. Well, I'm not having the XP, XP be uh, shared further, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take it out with Dub Trio. It's no big deal. Hurt by poison? No, I'm poisoned. Right, uh, can I finish it off with Santu? I mean, it's not a very strong move, but... Right. Okay, let's try this again. Santu. Mate, you missed again. Like... What is wrong with you? Right, one more Santu. And that doesn't even... Oh wait, the sand tomb will finish it off. Oh, well that's fine. I don't really need to use it again. Boot level 19. Nice one. Odor Slough. That does it so that uh, it can identify ghost types, I believe. It turns them into normal types. Does it so that like normal type moves can hit it and fighting, might I add. Either way, it's better than raw, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. <coughs> you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to forgive my coughing here because uh, 
I still have that cold. Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. To be fair, every day when a trainer battles another trainer, they get prize money if they win. So, he's not entirely wrong, to be fair. I mean, Pokemon battling is literally like the pinnacle of Pokemon culture. So... Um, right, so use an antidote. You know, I really need to, uh, like, sort me send a uh, face cam out at some point. Because I've just got that little box in the left corner for... Just for shits and giggles at this point. So I really need to, like, get a... Get me send a webcam and just add some face cam to it at some point. I don't know. I'll try and I'll try and get it in time for the uh, for the Pokemon League. Actually, level 19 versus level 23. I might be able to take this. You know, I'll get a try. <sighs> Did nearly half my health, but. Uh, Yeah, I think I think Ralph can take this. I just uh, need to make sure that he doesn't get critted or she doesn't get critted. Right, back to using Ember. Um, how much was he doing per wing attack? I think it was like 21 or something, right? As long as, as, long as he doesn't crit, I think I'll be all right. Right, okay. Well done, Growlithe. Your first, uh, your first official win. Right, I will change you out actually, cause uh, you are a bit winded there. So switch back into Pidgeotto. Oops, I was meant to use wing attack there, but to be fair, tackle like nearly one shot at it, so she should use quick attack just to guarantee the first move. So there we go. Uh Raticate. Probably look up like what moves uh, what level Growlithe learns certain moves so that I know when to put when to use the Firestone. Because I'm pretty sure that when you use a Firestone it doesn't learn any any more moves. Like naturally, I mean, so Jeez. It does a lot of damage for a, a Pokemon that's like ten levels lower. Wow. Theater, don't fight us rockets. Ah, another phrase that they used in Pokemon Go. Ah, yes. <laughs> You're not getting away with this. Did they also use that phrase as well? I'm, I'm not really sure. Anyway, Mr. Fuji, heh, you came to save me? Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Fa follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Okay. Right. Oh, 
he's got a book there, so I might, I might read that. The Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Yeah, it does. It really does. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Pokeflu? Yeah, you know. There we go. It was it was what I uh, came here for. And what's this? Pokemon Fan Magazine. Uh, monthly grand prize drawing. The application form is gone. It must have been clipped out. Someone must have replied already. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's a bummer. Um, right, let's go and heal up and then I'm going to, um, I don't know, maybe head Saffron and uh, face Silco. I, I don't know. Actually, there is a place uh, to the west of Celadon which uh, has like a secret house with, uh, with the HM Fly. So I'm going to head there next, I think, because I think uh, it will make, it'll make things a lot quicker. Let's say. In fact, I should have really done this at the start because I wouldn't have had to make this trek, but you know, shit happens. I wish they used this music in um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver as well, like when you go through these uh, underground tunnel places. Like, I know there's one of them that's shut, but uh, in the other one that you go through, uh, some creepy music plays for some reason. Like, I mean, I get it's a tunnel, and it's supposed to be dodgy as heck, but, like, does it have to have creepy music? Right. Oh, okay, so, let's go and encounter some Pokemon, why not? Uh, Spearow, do I... Yeah, I've got that already. Although if I were to catch it and then level it up one, uh, I could evolve it. But I'm not going to catch it. Uh, I'll just have uh, Pidgeotto out. Right, wing attack. Let's go. You can get like things like Dodoos and stuff in this grass. So Dodo is a Pokemon I don't have yet. So how would I fare against a level 20 Spearow? We I mean, choose Leer, so probably not very well. Now, oh, got a crit. Nice one. Oh God, Fury attack. Nine damage each attack. Don't hit me five times, please. Okay, good. It's possible he could have hit me. I could have fainted if he hit me five times. If he'd have got a crit on one of them. So, yeah, definitely a cause for concern there. Right, I need to get some more fresh waters. To be fair. Um, come on, Dodoos, are you gonna? Um, are you going to appear for me, or do they, or are they Pokemon Leaf Green exclusive? I, I don't really know. I should really research this stuff. You know what? Oof, for God's sake. More for another Pokemon. Level 22 Rattata. Jeez. Um, bit of a feisty one, isn't it? Feisty one, you are! Awesome. 